how your character will evolve without Aina. How how will she, how will Mal evolve without Alina? Yes. How how is going with the life? He, he will he will get on the boat with the new crew and. Comment est-ce que son personnage, puisqu'il n'est plus avec Alina, va évoluer depuis qu'il est sur ce bateau I've got a feeling it'll be a lot less stressful. With, you know, if I'm trying to... You would have your life. Or, you know, I feel, I feel like it'd be, it'd be a nice little break from all that madness. Um, freedom, something that he wants. Gets to travel. Which is something that he wanted to as well. Um, so yeah, I've got a feeling he's going to enjoy his, his new life on the, on the boat. And it, it was his dream to go, so... Yeah, exactly. That's, that's it, that's it. Thank you very much. Alors du coup voilà bah, qu'est-ce qu'il qu qu deviendrait et donc bah, je pense euh, que déjà il serait beaucoup moins stressé, hein, premièrement, et ensuite bah, il a toujours rêvé de ça, de voyager, c'est ce qu'il souhaitait, donc c'est très bien, et euh, d'aller euh, bah, voilà, faire des voyages, découvrir de nouvelles choses avec ces nouvelles personnes, donc euh, ouais, il y a plein de choses qui l'attendent, des choses intéressantes. Hi. Uh, I was wondering if uh, Mal, if you think that Mal could love another girl than Alina, now that she just leave and just leave him alone. So, est-ce que selon lui Mal aimera ou sera capable d'aimer une autre personne qu'Alina? I can imagine certainly being confused at like a point if like um, there's something just was kind of. You know, in a surprise situation, you know, sometimes you're a bit like, oh, God, what? who's this person? Why am I, oh, you know, something going on, he's like, ah, oh, it's weird, it's weird. Maybe something like that. Okay. I don't know about uh, fully. Maybe. So I kind of feel like, it could happen either way, you know. Would you be happy if it happens, people? No. <laughs> you don't want Mal to be happy. <laughs> what about Alina. What, what about Alina with Nikolai? Woo! <laughs> oh, oh, that's right. Oh, oh my God. Oh, 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 okay. Interesting. <laughs> okay, so the question is, is that he would be mal with someone else? I don't know if I would be mal with someone else, but I think it's possible that he would be perturbed by someone else and say, but why do I feel like that? Cette personne est différente, il y a un truc, bon, ça me perturbe. Ça, c'est possible, et, euh, et puis bon, on verra, quoi. Et je dis, mais si vous souhaitez que mal trouve quelqu'un, non, non, non Il dit, Alina avec Nicolas, oui, oui Alors bon, ok, est-ce que c'est juste <rire> So the first one is, um, one I already asked the others, um, which piece of advice would you give the character Which piece of advice would I give Mal. Mal. Yeah. <laughs> what well, having known everything that happens, I'd say don't worry about it, it all works out. It all works out in the end. En connaissant tout ce qui se passe, je dirais genre t'inquiète, tout va bien se passer, tout se passe bien à la fin. Okay, and so the second question is. There was this video where you talked about like fan slang, and there was the term dark blade. Oh, yeah. And well, this is what this is meant to be. Is yeah. yeah. And I want to know how did you know what dark blade is? Comment est-ce qu'il sait? I get tagged in a lot. Of, uh, I get tagged in a lot of stuff. <laughs> See it. <laughs> and I saw someone say dark blade. Uh, yeah, that's how I. That's how I know. Twitter is very informative. Comment est-ce qu'il connaît l'existence de Dark Blade ce nom et il dit bah en fait c'est les réseaux sociaux on tag dans beaucoup de choses et j'ai vu ce mot et Twitter est un endroit où on a beaucoup d'informations. Hi. Hello. So I was wondering what level can you relate to Mal? Like do you feel close to him or do you think you're totally different than him? I think we're actually fairly close in terms of like. I don't think he's got. I like to think. I like to think I've got a big heart, and 
kind of willingness to keep going and keep pushing uh, and very determined. That's what I like to think of myself, whether I am those things, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, in, in that respect, I think we're kind of both, both fighters, not physically, but uh, yeah, definitely mentally. Mao is definitely physically a, a fighter, as you can you know, in the shows and stuff. A lot of fighting. And Theo, if he has things in common with his personality, or on the contrary, they are very different. But no, I think we have a lot of things in common, notably the fact that, at least, it's like that I want to imagine, or I hope, that to have a big heart, to be determined, to do a lot of things for the right things, and to be a combatant, but not on the physical level, not him, although he is mal de moments où on voit dans la série où il se bat, mais voilà, c'est un, un combattant aussi, un guerrier. Si vous aviez besoin de faire un troisième projet avec Ben, qu'est-ce que vous aimeriez faire avec lui Un film ou un TV show Si vous deviez collaborer une troisième fois avec Ben, ce serait dans quoi s'il avait envie Je pouvais que je m'en disais. Je pouvais que je m'en disais. Peut-être quelque chose. Peut-être ce temps. Something where he's good and I'm bad, right? <laughs> change it, change it again. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Peut-être que justement, la prochaine fois, il aimerait bien se voir où lui, enfin où Ben joue un gentil et puis lui joue un méchant. Pourquoi pas? Ça pourrait être intéressant. It wasn't really explained. There was originally, I remember talking to someone about and the stunt team about. Bit that shows him escaping, fighting. I was really gutted I didn't get to do much. I did so many fight scenes in the first season. I think I only did one. Like, hit me yeah, man, just the one on the on, uh, in Novi Zen uh, this time around. But there was meant to be like, I think, I think it was in a, a carriage and some kind of like tied up like that, you know. Like Alina in season one. Buckles, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, he somehow manages to headbutt someone or something. I, don't know. I can't remember what it was, but there was meant to be something, but because of time, they cut it. They didn't get it. They didn't get it. And the second question: uh, In the first season, Mal watched his closest friends die in front of him for a cause. And then in season two, because everything was going on, we didn't get to see him go through an emotional journey until the very end. So how do you think he felt throughout the season being a deserter of the first army and then losing all his friends besides Alina? <coughs> uh, I think because he, he's, he's got a soldier's mentality and like, in like the army and stuff, you're, meant, you're, you're trained to just be able to put your kind of feet aside in the heat of you know, battle and stuff and just put the term soldier on comes from it, so just keep going. Um, but in terms of like deserting and stuff, it's definitely, he knows that it's for the, the greater good. He knows that this, there's, there's good reason behind it and it's not, you know, it's the right thing to do. I don't think he feels bad about that. Thank you. Thank you. Alors, je ne sais pas exactement la première question, mais ça parlait de, est-ce qu'il euh, a eu euh, des... Oui, si. Il y a un passage, on le voit, il se fait capturer par la seconde armée, et du coup, quelques instants après, on le voit, il s'est échappé, mais on ne sait pas comment il s'est échappé. Est-ce qu'il y a une scène qui a été tournée, qui a été coupée, etc. Donc, il dit que oui, euh, mais qu'il y a eu euh, beaucoup de scènes de combat dans la première saison, il en a vraiment fait beaucoup, beaucoup moins dans la deuxième, mais en effet, il y avait un truc où il était attaché, et... Euh, et il s'est échappé, il a réussi à s'échapper. Bon, bah, tout n'est pas dans la série parce qu'il y a une question de timing aussi, on ne peut pas tout faire. Mais euh, voilà, il y a eu, euh, eu ces scènes-là tournées. Et la deuxième partie, c'est elle dit euh, ben, Mal voit ses amis dans la saison 1 mourir pour une cause par rapport à Alina. Et, euh, et dans la saison 2, ben, en fait, il n'a plus personne, il a été renié, il est recherché, il n'a plus que son ami. Comment est-ce qu'il le vit Et il dit Mais je pense qu'il a un côté euh, de soldat, en fait, où euh, il fait, il va. Euh, jusqu'au au but qui lui a été donné, et, euh, et c'est comme ça en fait, il ne euh, euh, se pose pas de questions à ce moment-là, il va au but qui s'est fixé, et il n'y a rien d'autre qui compte à ce moment-là. Donc voilà, ouais. on résume. Ouais, on peut